Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to do a full anti-join in Power Query. And this is in a situation where we have two tables and we want to find records that uh, don't exist in both. Uh, there's no match in both. Um, this is probably something that you can do. There's many ways to do this when you think about it with Excel. You don't really need to go into Power Query because you can look for matches in both tables and just filter out what doesn't exist in both when you can append them. But with Power Query and Excel, there's many different ways to do similar things. And here is one of them. So in this scenario, let's say we have a table over to the left, this blue table. This is, has sign up information about uh, shirts, shirt sizes for people, but it has a full name and email fields. We have another table here in the orange table we have pickup information about uh, the shirt sizes for people with email fields, but the full name has been separated out in separate fields for the first name and last name. The blue table has the full name field. Now what we want to do is we want to know the people that don't show up in both tables. You know, what records have no matches on the left and right tables? So this is a perfect example for an anti-join merge in Power Query. Now, if we look at our Power Query options here, we have uh, a couple type of join, merge join types. We have a left outer, right outer, full outer, inner, left anti, and right, right anti. And there is not an option for a, a full anti join. This can be fixed by doing a couple things, making a left anti join, making a right anti join, and kind of combining them together. So we see our green table, the bottom table, and this shows us records for items that don't exist in both tables. We have uh, this Hewitt Rankmore name and this Debbie Botley name that does not exist in both tables. So how do we do this? Let's go into our data sheet and show you how. These are the same ranges of data. I'm going to turn them into tables, put them into Power Query, and show you how we can get that one uh, two record entry table. Go to data and get from table and range. This will be my first table. My table does have headers. Click OK. And we will close and load this as a connection. Let's call this left table to make it easier to figure out. This is left table. Click close and load to. We're going to make this a connection only. Create only connection, click OK. I'll do the same thing for the table here on the right. Click anywhere in the range of data, go to data from table and range. My table does have headers, click OK and call this one right. And click close and load. Click and close and load to make sure it is only connection. Click OK. And we have our left and right tables. So what I need to do, as I mentioned earlier, is I need to find all the records here that don't exist in this table and find all the records here that don't exist in that, that table first. So I'll pick any one of these tables. I'll just pick the left table and reference it. That, that will be my reference table. Go to reference, right click, reference. It will bring up the query editor. I'm going to merge queries here. I'm going to merge my left table with my right table. Left table, I'll take the email ID field. And on the right table, I'll also take the email field. And for the join kind, we're going to do a left anti-join. So basically, it's going to look at all the records between a left and right table, all the records that match. It's going to discount that and bring back only the record that did not match on the left table. So let's click OK. And the record that did not match on the left table, as we saw earlier, was Hewitt Rankmore. Click on the double-headed arrows to expand that. We don't need this use origin column names. Click OK. We can see we have no values because those didn't show up on the right table, on the right table on the right. Rename this and we'll call this one left anti. Click close and load, close and load as a connection only. We have that check there, click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing now, but make a right anti join. Select the left table, also reference that right click reference. And do the same thing here, but this will be a right anti-join. Merge queries, and it will come up. Click on the email. Use my right table again. Click on the email here, 
and the join type, which is going to be a right anti-join. So it's going to try to match the tables in the left and right. If, when they match, it's going to bring back anything on the right table that did not match both tables. And that's going to be the Debbie record. So if I click on the blank space here, you can see at the bottom, we have Debbie Botley here. Click on the double-sided arrows, uncheck the original column prefix option, click OK. And now we have our record there. This is also going to be loaded as a connection. Whoops, let me change the name here first. This will go right dash ante. So it makes it easier to um, look through. Click close and load. And this is going to be loaded as a connection only. Click OK. And now what I want to do is I want to append these both together. So I'll click on that table, right click, append. And I want to append it to the right anti-join. Click OK. And what it's going to do now, well actually, probably a good idea is we do if we get this coming often, let's reference that left. Let's discard this. I do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to reference this. Reference and we are going to append queries. So I'll append queries. So I'm going to append this left anti-query with a right anti-query. Click OK. And now you see it's appended it. I have two records here. I have my Hewitt Rankmore and my Debbie Botley. We can call this one full anti. I'll call it full anti-join. And this one I'm going to load onto the worksheet. So click close and load, load to. Let's load it as a table, as a on the existing worksheet. Delete that. Let's select uh, cell, I don't know, cell A17. Click OK. And now we have our data. Close this panel. We have our data, which has our record, this Hewitt Rankmore, which shows up here, and our Debbie Butley, which shows up here. And these are the records that don't match in both. Everything else matches. Benton Stokely matches that. Cynthia Brickley matches that. All the other records match. But those two are the only ones that don't match in both tables. So that's how you do a full anti-join in Power Query. You can see there isn't that option to do that. If I go back into the um, query editor, you can see now that was the append. Let's go to one of the joins. We'll go to the left anti-join. You can see if I go back to one of the steps here, click on the, the gear icon, you look down here, there is no full anti-join. There's only a left join and right join. So that's the way that we can get a full anti-join. Basically taking the left anti-join, the right anti-join, and appending them together to get our output here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.